Okay, we have derived the compound pradipadikam ardha pippali using the sutram 222 ardham napum sakam. And we also studied 1 to 44 eka vibhakti chapuro nipate, which says that in the vigraha of a compound, a padam which takes a fixed k suffix, while the k suffix of the other padam in the compound varies, gets the designation upasajanam. But this designation Upasujanam prescribed by this Sutra 1 to 44 cannot be used for the purpose of placing the Padam in the prior position in the compound. Now, we saw that when we add different case affixes to the compound Pradipadikam Ardhapippali, what happens in the Vigraha is that the case affix following Pippali is always a Shashti Ekavachanam. While that attached to Ardha changes depending on which case affix we've added to the compound. So the conditions for applying 1, 2, 44 are satisfied and Pippali would now take the Upasajana Sanya and that in turn would trigger the Sutra 1, 2, 48 which we are going to study now. Sutram says Go Striyo Rupa Sarjanasya. Now look at the number 1, 2, 48. We are very familiar with 1, 2, 47. Raso Napumusake Pratipadikasya which says that in the neuter gender the ending vowel if any of a Pratipadikam is shortened. Anuvritti of Rasvaha and Pratipadikasya comes down down from that Sutram 1247 into this Sutram 1248. We should always keep a track of where we are in the Ashtadhyayi. The more we get familiar with the territory of the Ashtadhyayi, the better chance we have of mastering Vyakaranam. Because the Ashtadhyayi is the original instruction of Parnini. There is a reason why Parnini has organized these rules in the way that he has done it. So we have to respect that arrangement and leverage our familiarity with the Ashtadhyayi to quickly understand a new Sutram. So we are already aware that this Sutram is prescribing a short substitute for the ending vowel of a Pradipadikam. Okay, the Vritya this Sutram says, Upasarjanam yo go shabdaha, stri pratyayantancha tadantasya pratipadikasya rasvasyat. Which means that the ending vowel of a pratipadikam is shortened. If the pratipadikam ends in either the term go that has the designation Upasarjanam or a term which ends in a feminine affix stri pratyayaha and has a designation Upasarjanam. Let us refresh our memory that the Sri Pratyayaha are prescribed by Parnini in the section starting from the Sutram 413 Striyam and going down to 4181. In our present example, what do we have? We have the compound Pradipadikam Ardha Pippali, which ends in the term Pippali, which itself ends in the feminine affix Nish, because Pippali is listed in the Gauradi Ganaha. And hence, the Sutram 4141 Shid Gaurad Vyascha describes the affix Nish in Pippali. So now, if Pippali were to get the designation Upasajanam by the Sutram 1244, the ending long vowel E of Ardha Pippali would be shortened by the Sutram 1248, Go Striyo Upasajanasya, resulting in the undesired form Ardha Pippali. Because if Pippali were to have the designation Upasarjanam, the remaining conditions for applying 1 to 48 are satisfied here. And hence we would end up with the undesired form Ardha Pippali. But the good news is that 1 to 44 is prevented from applying in this situation by the following Vartikam Eka Vibhaktava Shashtyanta Vachanam. That will be our next Vartikam which prevents 1 to 44 from applying here and once 1 to 44 is stopped, Pippali does not get the Uprasajana Sanya and hence 1 to 48 cannot apply and we are back on track to get the correct form Ardha Pippali.